Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube page. So today I'm gonna go over the Light Fox uh, light beams that I got from Vic Offroad. Now, I'm gonna skip the installation or you know unboxing of it. Uh, at that time, you know, I was, uh, uh, a buddy of mine came down to help me install them. I was busy, I didn't see him do it, but he kind of gave me a rundown and that's kind of what I'm gonna give to you guys. And obviously we'll be showcasing them in the day. Uh, right now with some of the things that we're going to do and also I'll be showcasing them at night so you can see how bright they are and see if they're the right fit for you. So to start off things, these are it right here. They're Vix Offroad's new Light Fox Light Beam. These are six inches. You'll get two of them. And so pretty cool. And so what I'm going to be showing you guys basically is how I install them rundown of them and also um, uh, showcasing again just how bright they are now the way I have them set up here as you can see they're on my front bumper here I have the notches weld or not welded but screwed on and also have to you know the thing to uh, the, the bolt to adjust them up down they can slide a little bit left to right if I need them to as well and the reason why um, I have them here is because I wanted uh, ditch lights but I didn't want to go through the hassle of installing the ditch lights, removing my fender, and doing all that nonsense. So instead I opted for this. And as you can see they're pointed at an angle as well. So they're both like this. With my light bar in the middle, I get pretty much a good like a 180 view of what's in front of me. And it's very bright as well. Um, and I thought that was a really good combo. And again, you'll see this at night, how they point and how bright they are. And you have the option to use these for pretty much anything you'd like. I mean, you can use them for fog lamps as well. You can install them a little bit lower and turn them on for your normal car. I know it's been pretty foggy out there. Or you can uh, have them as, you know, reverse lights as well. You put it in reverse, have them a little low, and you're good. You're ready to rock and roll. So basically what my friend did is he just installed everything. We're running it through here, my front grill up to here to the battery now i do have an aux beam installed and those two wires hook up to here because it's you know one is each so i have them here hooked up to the same thing and inside the vehicle follow me i have everything installed on my aux beam and you can coordinate however you want this is for my light bar and this is for the two uh you know uh, light beams as well and uh, let me go ahead and show you what they look like. All right, guys. So as you can see, that you know how it looks during the day, and I like them because they're not as bright as the light bar, obviously. So if you're wheeling and cutting through some dust or whatever, I know you can use the yellow. But you can also have these on, and they're very visible even throughout the day. And like I said, at night. You know, when I have these on, I have like a good 180 peripheral view of everything. And it comes on pretty nicely. And again, I'll showcase that at night so you can see yourself. And I've been wheeling hard, going through Death Valley. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with these washboard roads. And nothing has gotten loose. Nothing has been, you know, iffy about anything. The wires are nothing. Everything's been great. It's been solid. Uh, I've been doing some night driving. Uh, a little bit night wheeling. I'll be doing that tonight so you guys can see that. And we'll go from there. And I hope this helps you make your decision a little bit better. So I'll be catching you guys at night. And we'll check them out. I'll see you then. Yo, what's up guys? All right, so it is nighttime now. Uh, I've been driving through the night. It's getting a little spooky out here in the desert. But just to show you how bright these lights are, 
let me just showcase it inside the vehicle right now let me turn these lights off so the camera is kind of hard it won't do it any justice off these are the light bars this is my light bar headlights side lights off side lights on light bar off side lights on and you can see just how far it illuminates and this is just from inside the vehicle now let me hop out and show you let me turn on the headlights so that's the headlights and you can see the difference let me turn on the high beams or the light bar sorry and you can see how well everything complements each other and you 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 know lights up pretty well see light bar off headlights off these are with the lights off the little two six inch look at that all the way here all the way there and you can see like this is like right now i'm completely over the vehicle and you can see just how like it's even like even behind it's weird look at that where the front of the vehicle is it's almost like completely sideways still and you can see where the shadow of the vehicle is we're like well behind that even here where the vehicle is like well behind it and then some so if you're in the market for these i highly recommend them they're great i'm out in the desert literally in the middle of death valley so yeah guys do yourself a favor go get yourself some light fox from vic off-road again these are the two six inch light bars or light beams whatever you want to call them and i'll put the link in the description and do yourself a favor and go copy some so with that being said guys i know you can barely see my face I hope this video serves you well, and we'll see you on the next adventures and see what else gets brought up. So, peace out, and I'll catch you next time.